Yes, Apple have just dropped the brand new modular melodies synth pack here in Logic Pro for iPad. And in this video, we're going to take a first look at it. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome back to Studio Live today. Let's dive in and take a look at this cool new pack. To get to the pack from your main screen here, come down to Featured Sound Packs, tap on Show More, and you'll have all of your sound packs here. Tap on Modular Melodies and hit the Get button, and you're going to get 250 Apple Loops and more than 20 Alchemy Synth patches. Let's take a look and a listen. That's downloaded, installed, and ready to go. So I've started the new track here in Logic Pro. We're gonna tap on this one, Patches, Loops, and Samples, and that's going to open up our browser. If you're already in a project, you can do the same by tapping on the browser button there in the bottom left corner. Let's jump in and go to Loops, and then in order to get to just these loops, we need to do some filtering. And to do that, we need to hit this button here, our Filter button, and come to Sound Packs and scroll across. These are in alphabetical order, sort of, so we're looking for M for modular, and there it is, modular melodies. If we tap on that one, it's going to filter down to just the modular melodies sounds. We're going to hit done, and uh, let's start experimenting. And check this out, we got all sorts of cool arps and glitches and sequences to play around with here. Let's uh, come down here and check out this, the Buy Chips synth bass, and to preview it, we just tap on the left here. I like the sound of that one. Let's just pause it. Now it's called bug chips, isn't it? Yeah, not buy chips. I'm, I think I'm getting hungry. So let's drag this into our project by tapping, holding and dragging, and we can drop it here as a loop and check that out with the cool new features we have here in Logic Pro. It even tells us what key this is in. Should we take a listen to the synth lead as well? That's pretty cool. We can do the same with that. Bring this across and drop it on a track and we can start building out our arrangement. Let's play it back. Kind of nuts, yeah. And there's a heap of other cool sounds in here that you can play around with. We've got some percussion here. And there's even patterns, as you can see here, that you can play with. I can see lots of potential, lots of people getting very happy playing around with some of these sounds and sequences. Just some beautiful stuff. I really like this one, in fact. So we're gonna mute out these ones and we're actually gonna use this one instead. So let's bring this synth sequence in here and drop it in there as a bit of a sound. Now, as well as all of our loops, we've got some new alchemy patches. So let's show you how we can check those out. So this time here in our browser, we're going to go back and this time we wanna to go to instrument patches. We wanna do the same filter here by tapping in the top here, going to sound packs and scrolling across till we find mo modular melodies. Say that five times quickly. Modular melodies, modular melodies, no, can't do it. Let's hit the done button there, and there you go. We've got all of these sounds here that we can use. Let's uh, preview some. That's pretty cool. What about uh, the bent beyond? Ooh, we've got some arpeggiated sounds here. And we've got some bass. Let's try this bass. We'll bring this one in by tapping and dragging. This time we want to drag it onto a track to create an instrument track. And let's play some bass along with this original sound. To do that, we need a play surface. So we're going to tap in the bottom right here and bring up our keyboard. And let's play along. Okay, I kind of like that. So let's go and find another sound to build up on this. Let's uh, take a listen to these icicle plucks. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it sounds like my alarm that goes off in the morning. Uh, modular math beats. That's kind of cool. Uh, what about the string theory? Mm, maybe. So we've got some more bass there. Vox voltage bass. We've got voltage waves. Uh, warm tide sounds fun. Yep, let's bring this in here. So we'll grab this one and drag it on across, create another instrument, and uh, let's play along again. It's 
starting to sound kind of cool. I think we need some drums though. So let's see if we can use one of the percussion sounds. So to add some drums in here, we're going to go back and then go back into our loops and it's still filtered there from before. So let's see if we can find some drum or some percussion sound to go along with this that might work. Let's take a look at some of these and maybe try at random this one. It's interesting because a lot of these are melodic uh, because they're based on melodies. Funny about that, but you could, of course, mix and match your modular rhythms. In fact, let's do exactly that because if we wanted to, we can actually mix and match from different packs. So let's go back over to here, scroll across to the modular rhythms and tap. And now we can use some of these cool ones like this dark automation and bring this across into our track. Let's drop it on here, loop it out. And let's take a listen to what we've created. So pretty fun, right? You've got a heap of different sounds in here to play with and uh, Apple have definitely spent a lot of time creating all of these modular sounds that sound just like you're plugging things into other things, except you get to do it all right in your iPad. So let me know, what do you think about this new modular melodies sound packs? I think it's pretty cool. Combining that with your modular rhythms, you're going to be able to create some great sounds right here in Logic Pro. If you'd like to learn what else is new in Logic Pro for iPad 2.1, check out the other videos in the description and I'll see you next time.